With hunting season right around the corner, starting in October, I figured I would do a song called Bambi by Hippocampus. Let's rock it. <laughs> Very, very, very long time since I've done a hippocampus lesson, but I'm getting back in the groove and the swing of things. I'm uploading every single Wednesday, whether it's a cover video or a tutorial. And I figured as far as getting back into doing tutorials again on how to play songs, I figured a great song what to do uh, would be Bambi by Hippocampus. I love this song. This is off of their new album, um, not Landmark. Um, but their new album off their hit single called Bambi. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to break down all the parts, let's get right to it. There's a lot to go through, it's a pretty extensive lesson. Let's get right into it because there's a lot going on. I'm going to teach you the little synth line. Which if you're really familiar with the record, you'll know that that's like the dun 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 And let me teach you the chords that are actually going uh, underneath that. So the first chord that we're going to have, um, and by, by the way, the song's in the key of E flat to give you a reference point. So we're in the key of E flat, and the intro chords are going to be a C minor 7. So we're going to be on the third fret. We're going to do a minor shape, minor 7 shape. So C minor 7. Then we're going to do a E flat dominant 7, which I like using this shape. This is what they're actually using on the record. So it's the uh, dominant 7 C chord shape, so if you think of a C7 down here, and you move it up to the 4th fret, it's your E flat 7. And then we're going to have an A flat major 7, which if you're not familiar with that shape, you're going to put your 1st finger, E string, 4th fret, 3rd finger, 5th string, or excuse me, 5th fret, D string, and then pinky is going to follow below that, so 5th fret, G string, and then 2nd finger, 2nd string, 4th fret. So it's your A flat major 7. And then we're going to go back to E flat. But they actually use this really cool voicing, which I was unfamiliar with until I actually, uh, you know, had to look it up and watch how they played it live. Um, but this is actually the chord that they're using here. So it's like a C major chord, but moved up to the 4th fret. And we're going to be playing 5, 4, 3, and 2. So that's E flat in 4th position. And then we're going to go back to C minor 7, then to E flat 7, then to A flat major 7, and then this next chord, which is my, this is just such a cool chord, it's a tension chord. So this is actually going to be an A flat minor 7 flat 5 chord. So how this chord is going to work is you're going to put your, not to flick you off, middle finger, 4th fret of the E string, 1st finger, 3rd fret of the D string, and your ring finger is going to be on the flat, which is going to be the B note, or the 4th uh, fret of your G string. So that's going to be your chords. And I was kind of doing a strumming pattern, I'll get into some, um, some actually how they play it, because I'm kind of combining the actual original recording. Um, which is all a lot of synth and then the live version and I'll link both of those in the description so you can kind of figure how I piece this together because I'm kind of combining elements for both. But anyway, the intro is going to sound like this. So you have your C minor 7, 1 bar, E flat, 7, 1 bar, A flat major 7, 1 bar, then back to E flat, then C minor 7, E flat 7, A flat major 7, then to that A flat minor 7 flat 5, and then it's repeats. and then I'll break down the actual little synth line, which is my favorite part of the entire song, pretty much. So... Okay, 
So, let me get a little bit closer here. So we're gonna be all on the B string. So this is what's really cool. We're gonna actually go to our C minor pentatonic main uh, row position. We're gonna start on the 11th of the B, and we're gonna go back between the 11th and the 8th of the B, so. So if you can just get that, that's 11, and then to eight. And I'm kind of using like the staccato, kind of like punchy rhythm. And then the next part is you're gonna slide down to six on the B. So, so far. And then once you slide down to that, you're gonna immediately hammer up onto the eighth of the B. So again, this is all on the B string. So 12, eight, and then and then once you do that hammer on, you're going to slide down to the fourth of the B. So slowly. And that'll get you through the intro. And with the harmony in the background, cycle through all together okay so let me actually break down the actual verses now and these are some really really cool fancy chord progressions so I'm excited to show you these uh, so for this part, just throw away your pick for right now because if you want to play to the actual true original chording, um, the live version, uh, he doesn't actually use his uh, pick at all. And this is Nathan, their lead guitarist here. So the chords that they're going to be playing for the verse is going to be that E flat chord like I showed you in the intro. A G minor 7. So we're going to have a G minor shape. We'll just put our pinky off. G minor 7 and then we're gonna have a C minor 7 and this is what's really cool this is a B augmented chord so take your C minor 7 and then just put your first finger down a fret so basically we're gonna be playing like C minor 7 but with B in the bass and that'll be our B augmented chord then to A flat major 7 and to, to the A minor 7 flat 5 chord And then we'll go back to E flat seven, or just regular E flat, then to G minor seven, then to C minor seven, and then to B augmented, A flat major seven, and then back to that A flat, A flat minor seven flat five chord. That's a mouthful to say. Okay, so for the picking pattern, uh, he's kind of doing like this Chucky rhythm. So he's really only using like his thumb and his first finger and it might help if you grow out your nails a little bit. Uh, that usually kind of has a tendency to help. But you're gonna be kind of, you know, doing like digging into the strings like a thumb, bass note, and then a strum with your first finger. So let me just hold on the uh, E flat chord for a second. So that's kind of how it sounds. lyrics it's gonna sound like this I swear to God I wasn't born to fight maybe just a little bit enough to make me sick of it well I can read between the lines I want to run from everything but my legs just won't work it's clear to me so that's kind of the pattern and I'm not really doing anything specific so if we just hold on that E, uh, e flat 7 chord I'm kind of just doing like bass note with my thumb, strum with my first finger, and then pick up. So like, it'll be really helpful if you listen to the original recording, which again, I'll have that linked in the description, and you'll kind of hear it with your ear to, to really um, figure out exactly what he's doing if you want to play it exactly. Uh, so verse one, E flat, G minor seven, C minor seven, 
B augmented, A flat major seven, A flat minor seven flat five, and then back to E flat, G minor seven, C minor seven, B augmented, A major seven, and then A flat minor seven flat five. So that's the verse, and that'll take care of all of your verses. Now let's move on to the chorus bit. I have my computer up here right in front of me with my um, arrangement that I have. Okay, so for the chorus, we're going to have the chords E flat, G minor 7, C minor 7, E flat 7 this time. So I remember in the verses it was just E flat, but now we're going to go E flat 7. Then we're going to have A flat major 7, then F, uh, F, sorry, A flat major 7 flat 5, and then back to E flat back to G minor 7, then C minor 7, E flat 7, and A flat major 7. So let me play the chorus part and I'll call out the chords. So E flat, G minor 7, C minor 7, E flat 7, A flat major 7, A flat minor 7 flat 5, then back to E flat, then to G minor 7, C minor 7, E flat minor 7, A flat major 7, A flat minor 7 flat 5. Now, there's the part that goes serving myself. Dun 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 dun. So the serving myself part, which is the end part of the chorus, is going to be C minor 7 to E flat to A flat major 7. So it sounds like serving myself, serving myself. So I know I'm throwing a lot of chords at you for this song. It's harmonically active, so I'd really, really recommend listening to the song while playing through this. Um, and if you need the actual chord sheet, you can email me. Um, I have a website, justinhatmusic.com. If you email me through that um, and you sign up through it, I can send you the actual um, chord diagram for this if that helps, if you want to see the lyrics with the chord changes. Now, we're going to go back to the verse again. And the verse is going to be essentially the same thing, so we're going to have E flat. This time, instead of going to the C minor, we're going to go to that B augmented chord, so it's going to sound like this. E flat, B augmented, A flat major 7, A flat minor 7 flat 5, then back to E flat. Then a G7, G minor 7, C minor 7, B augmented, A flat major 7, back to that A flat minor 7 flat 5. So there are some like little changes that happen in between some of the verses in the chorus, like just little like chords aren't here where they normally were in the previous one. So again, that's really important to listen to this. And I should have the chords listed on screen while I'm playing through it. So um, that is pretty much the entire song. So let me play through the verse one more time and then the chorus. So this would be the verse, E flat, G minor seven, C minor 7, B augmented, A flat major 7, A flat minor 7 flat 5, then E flat, G minor 7, C minor 7, B augmented, A flat major 7, then that A flat minor 7 flat 5, and then when we go to the actual chorus, the chorus is going to be that E flat. G minor 7, C minor 7, E flat 7, A major 7, A flat major 7, sorry, A flat minor 7 flat 5, then E flat, C, uh, G minor 7, C minor 7, Part of the actual song is there's this um, 
little intro part so or more of a more or less like an outro so let me uh, walk through that too it's pretty much the same thing so the outro is going to be c minor 7 again this time instead of uh, e flat it's going to be e flat 7 and then a major a flat major 7 then regular e flat this time and then c minor 7 e flat 7 a flat major 7 our fun chord, our A flat minor seven flat five. So, um, and that's gonna sound like this. the entire song again if you need those actual chord charts um hit me up in my website justinhatmusic.com and i'll surely send those to you um before i leave you off i want to zoom in at my my right hand a little bit more so you can see kind of what i'm doing picking wise okay so for this example i'm just going to go back to like what the verse chords are going to be so just for just so that you're not um worried about what i'm playing in my left hand it's just the same as it would be the verse so the e flat chord the g minor seven the c minor seven the b augmented the A major 7, A flat major 7, and then the A flat minor 7 flat 5. So, for right now, um, just watch my thumb and what my thumb is doing. My thumb is probably the most important out of this entire technique. This is kind of a John Mayer technique. He uses this a lot in a lot of his uh, percussive kind of uh, guitar effects. So, really, you want to hit the bass note. Strum with your first finger, so on the E flat chord. So you just get used to that. So I'm hitting the bass note and then I'm strumming the rest of that chord with like my nail. So I'm kind of using this as like, a, like as if it was like a pick. And then what I'm kind of doing is I'm doing like a combination of strumming and then a picking pattern. So after I hit the bass note, I'm kind of going like, going like two, four, three. So without any of that picking, it would kind of sound like something like this. So think of like almost like Travis picking if you're familiar with Travis picking, which is a country style type picking pattern. So anyway, just watch me as I play this. using that my thumb to like hit into the actual guitar to get that kind of like almost like a snare drum beat so and let me sing it with a lyric so that you kind of feel where the changes fall as well so I swear to God I wasn't born to fight Maybe just a little bit Enough to make me sick of it And I can read between the lines I want to run from everything But my legs just won't work, it's clear to me Alright guys, that was the entire lesson. I hope you learned and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I have my website. You can leave me a comment there. Uh, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do in the future, drop them down below. If this is your first lesson here um, on my channel, I have lots of different hippocampus lessons on my channel. Um, so feel free to explore. If you liked what I did, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps me grow my channel, try to reach a, a wider audience. So I'll see you next time and take care.